Well, hello. It is January 21st. And it's a little later in the morning than um, than I was thinking I would be starting the video. It is a little after 11 in the morning. Um, unfortunately, some of you have seen uh, Gracie passed away. So it's taken a little bit <laughs> to get kind of everything going and to get arrangements made. But Joe and Faye and I are, are getting through it. We're doing okay, and uh, the the kind of reality is back to, you know, my mortgage doesn't get paid unless I have my, you know, YouTube money and my sales. So, um, so here I am doing the, the vlog for today. Um, but thank you to everyone who joined me last night with Sabrina. Um, it was very nice hanging out with her. There's Faye. Yep, at the snack station. Um, uh, uh, Sabrina had joined uh, Jen and I uh, earlier in January for our Wednesday sale. And she'll be joining us again for another Wednesday sale in February. But I was very glad to have uh, had her join me. Uh, she had some absolutely beautiful items, including two TV lamps. So if you missed those last night, please watch the replay, um, not only for my wonderful things, but I'll show you what's still available. Um, but very, very impressive to see those two lovely TV lamps. Uh, they were spectacular. And I enjoy, uh, as much as all of you do, uh, seeing the wonderful items that the the people bring to the live sales. So I, I was equally in enjoying that last night. Um, I also had a couple of sales after the sale from yesterday. Nope, from Friday from Friday. Uh, so I will show those off also. But let me go ahead um, over here and the camera around. And oh, did I forget to bring my sheet? Yep, I forgot to bring my sheet over here. Uh, so I brought uh, 20 items to the sale. And I sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven items sold last night, which means that 13 are still available. And we'll go ahead and uh, go over the items that are still available. And that uh, going to start with this lovely purple glass vase. I believe this one is by Westmoreland. It is about nine inches tall, and that is $35. Uh, this beautiful aqua and clear bowl. Um, it is very Murano-like, but I, I don't have a sticker or anything on here to say that it is Murano. It does have one, one rough spot which is right here. Let me find it again. It's right there. There is a little rough spot. And I believe that one of the bubbles popped. So uh, you may, may have noticed that there are beautiful controlled bubbles all throughout this beautiful bowl. It has a very smooth, polished pontal on the bottom. Uh, that one is $35. Um, oh, right here. Uh, the beautiful beaded black handbag. It is in gorgeous condition. No tag on the inside, so I'm not sure who made it. Although I have a feeling it was made in Japan. It, the beadwork is absolutely gorgeous. And it is on both sides. Let me flip that over. It is stunning. Uh, that is $30. The jewelry casket. Casket because it is open down here. Uh, but it is a little jewelry box. 
beautiful cover and a fun little courting couple. On the inside, there is a mirror, which is in great shape and a beautiful red velvet bottom. That is $30. This little, um, I kind of was thinking, you know, just generic Chinese, although Randy piped in and thought they might be Tibetan, which, you know, when you look at kind of the, like, what would be fur, a little fur lined, and they are dressed a little warmer. They do have these cute little Chinese knots. Uh, this little figurine pair, they're bigger than you think. They are eight inches tall. So let me see, I'm gonna put my hand here so you can see they are much bigger than my hand at eight inches. And they have porcelain faces and porcelain hands and they're detailed even down to their little shoes. No marking on them. But, uh, but yeah, Randy had mentioned maybe a Tibetan wedding couple, and I really, I really liked that. They are extremely detailed. I'm going to show the back of them also. I mean, they are just gorgeous. And there's nothing on the base. It's, it's just a base, but no indication of, um, of what they are, Chinese, Tibetan, um, some, some, something in there though. Uh, they are 25 for the pair on the stand. Um, oh, let me, let me get in here real quick. Uh, so I have a lot of five flower sack kitchen towels. The towels are large. They are 30 by 34 inches. I have them folded just to show off the design. The rest of the towel is clear. But this is a set of five. And you can see it's the nice little stitched, you know, transferred on and then embroidered uh, women doing kind of like uh, little chores around the house. But with this one, they put fabric here and then they color coordinated the stitching with the fabric. So the first one, uh, she's sewing. The next one, she's doing laundry, but you can see they color coordinated her outfit with the lovely piece of fabric. The next one, oh, we're cooking. This would be so cute for 4th of July. And this one, she's going to the market. Nice. Uh, summertime, maybe even into fall colors. And then this one, love the bright yellow. She's doing some dusting. That one does extend up. Um, it also does have a little blue ink mark right there. And you are going to get the set of five for $25. Let me put those back so you can, oops see all of those. Uh, then I had little Halloween. Might be a little early for Halloween, but um, as we discovered with the black light, oops, the, um, this is um, reactive, reactive uh, paint, I guess, ink to uh, black light. So it does glow. It is a, ooh, bisel made in USA. There is a little crinkle here. So I wanna point out right here, there is a little crinkle, but in great shape. And you're also going to get the Weenie Witch Halloween Party Book. Yep, brought to you by Swift's Premium Tender Franks. This is from 1950, and it is full of fantastic party ideas. You have uh, games to play. You can also create a weenie witch. Yep, there she is right there, the weenie witch. And this one is, I don't know, maybe a pinata? 
<laughs> I have no idea. Oh, feeding the weenie witch. There we go. So let's see. Requires a witch's mask, a large witch's head. Each guest is given a skinless frankfurter, blindfolded, turned around, and then they try to insert the frankfurter into the witch's mouth. Oh, that's a different kind of game. And then this one, they're bobbing for Franks. <laughs> but you are also going to get two masks. This one is Jake the Tomcat. And there is just a little bit of a tear right there. On the back side, it doesn't affect the mask too much. It doesn't go quite in there. And that is old Mortimer the Bonehead. And you're going to get this pair. So the Halloween book and the cat. And they are 25 for the pair. Uh, this right here is a Westmoreland milk glass decanter. That is about 13 inches tall. The stopper is in beautiful condition. And it is marked Westmoreland on the bottom. That one is $20. I have this beautiful um, uh, vanity brush. There's the outside. It is gorgeous. Um, the gold is um, still in, in really good condition. On this side, it is very clean. So I'm gonna get in here so you can kind of see the inside. That is a really nice, clean brush in great condition. And that one is $10. Um, I, I brought some seashells also. Uh, this one is about five inches long. It has beautiful striping, nice colors. And that one is $10. I have six antique birthday postcards. And a few of them are from Germany. That one's dated 1911. Oops. Birthday greetings. Uh, this one, I don't think that one, maybe that one didn't have a stamp on it. And yeah, they all kind of have clovers and horseshoes. That one is happy birthday, 1912 on that one. This one, I think this one was made in Germany. I don't think there's a stamp on it. This beautiful one, all birthday ones. That one I think was made in Germany also. Dated 1909. And then this is the last one. Oops. And that one's 1907. So all six of the birthday postcards and those are $10. Uh, this beautiful conch shell, really interesting striping on this one. It's about three inches long, and that is $8. And then I have this lovely pair of red starfish, I think. They are small. There's the underside. And they are $8 for the pair. All right, so the seven items that sold, um, right here we have a very large cracked egg planter. That is six inches tall and it is four inches wide. It is huge. And I'll show you comparison wise, um, because I did have a smaller one. So this one down here, that is a three and a half inch. And you can see what a huge difference those few inches make. Um, but both of those did sell.
I brought the um, amber shoe that does glow and this beautiful blue opalescent. Um, I had this uh, trivet, beautiful flower on here. And yeah, people were commenting that that one looked like it was 3D. It is gorgeous. Uh, the clear glass rolling pin. And then this absolutely stunning vase. It is um, artist made. There's the artist sticker there. It is dated 05 on the bottom. And it has this amazing calla lily that is attached to it. That is a 15 inch vase. Yeah, it is stunning. Um, all right, I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to take a look at uh, some items that sold after the sale. All right, I've got these set up over here on the counter. So on my Friday sale, I had some linens and uh, this beautiful green doily sold. And this lot of, I believe that they're hankies. They might just be doilies. Some of them might just be doilies, but they seem like hankies. And I had um, four of them, including this one. I love this one with like the two little hens or a hen and rooster. That is so cute. Um, but that lot sold. Um, all right, I'm going to flip the camera. Okay, I am going to, um, I'm going to try to have a productive day today, but... You know, it's 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 coming and going <laughs> with the emotions. Um, but thank you so much to everyone who has responded to the the post I made. Um, I appreciate it, and I'm I'm so happy that um, you guys got to see Gracie and and kind of experience. Um, some of how wonderful she was. So, um, yeah, she's she's going to be missed. But um, luckily I have ooh, Faye and Joe who are um, really stepping up and, and helping me today. So um, I'm going to get working. And uh, yeah, that's, that's probably going to be it for the vlog. Oh, other than I may show some shipping. I've, I've gotten some payments in. <clears throat> on some items and I'm going to go ahead and get those ready to go out for tomorrow so I think that's where I'll end I'll end it um but yeah but just thank you everyone I appreciate it okay well it is quarter to one and I have uh all the packages ready to go so far today um but thank you everyone so much for your payments let me blur so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine packages. Ooh, that's hard to see. Yes, it is dark in here. There we go. I'll turn the light on. <laughs> so nine packages ready to go out so far uh, today. Uh, I'm going to be spending the rest of the day packing and invoicing and uh, hanging out. I've got... I got my little helper. Yeah, he's he's sticking close. He's sticking very close to me today and helping me out. Um, I do have, let me flip this back. I do have currently 14 packages that I am waiting on payment for. And if those come in, um, then that's going to be a very large stack going out on Monday. Um, but thank you again, everyone. I appreciate everything. And, um, yes, Joe, yes, I know he's, he's right here, right here. There he is. Um, but, uh, yeah, I am kind of setting up already for the Monday sale and cause I have two sales on Monday. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're just being, he is just being a big old love bug, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Yes, you're being a big old love bug today. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that is going to wrap it up for the vlog today. Um, on Monday, 
on Monday we'll do another count and I'll show you how many packages are going out total but I thought since I had gotten the nine ready to go out that I would add them to the vlog today um, but everyone have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you and, and Joe yeah and Joe we'll see you on uh, on Monday